Hello and welcome. So, I recently sat down to make a video on how I got into gaming. Just how exactly did I start playing video games? So, gathering up as many names of games that I could remember that I played 25 plus years ago, I hit an unexpected snag in my thinking when I realized how many games I played as a kid were shareware. So instead of me covering what games got me into gaming, I'd like to take a look at an important concept that had such a profound effect on me, and I didn't even realize it was happening. So first, what is shareware? Shareware was the concept of giving away your computer program, and people could pay if they liked it. Or in other words, they could pay you if they wanted to pay you, because they could like it and still not give you money. But it wasn't a very profitable business approach back in the 1980s. Then a man named Scott Miller more or less popularized the approach by instead choosing to give away a portion of the game, typically a third, uh, and you were given instructions on how to order the rest of it should the game strike your fancy. This approach worked out very well for Scott Miller and his company Apogee Software, known today as 3D Realms. Uh, I believe he started using it on his cross games, which he designed and developed. It was also used as a publishing tool for games like Commander Keen, uh, which were owned by outside studios. So, how do I factor into this? Um, how do I benefit so profoundly from shareware in that this realization derailed my previous video? Well, it occurred to me that as Scott Miller and companies like Apogee were releasing their games in pieces, giving away the beginning and selling the latter portions, there were people like me who were about five years old give or take, at the time, and could only get their hands on the free editions of said games. I played a lot of shareware as a kid, as I mentioned earlier. Before I had decided to instead make my video about shareware, I had compiled a list of 22 games that helped get me into the hobby, which was the focus of my original video, How Did I Become a Gamer? All those games were on PC. 14 of them were shareware. It's more than half. Also noteworthy is that of those 14, 12 of them were either developed by Apogee, published by Apogee, or both. So I see this now in 2019 as a long-term investment, even if made inadvertently by folks like Scott Miller. What I mean is that for people like myself, that would only ever have the freebies of these games, I wouldn't mean much in terms of a profit on a shareware game. I would never be able to buy any additional segments. However, it would draw me into the hobby, as well as the want to play as many games as possible and purchase them on my own once I had come of age. And I was able to do that by the PS1, the PS2 era, the GameCube, the Xbox. By then, I was buying my own consoles and video games. So in other words, this business model helped make me into a gamer in the long run. I mention this only because I'm so often quick to name Nintendo as the name they got me into the game. Sorry, that was... It wasn't until I sat down to compile, as best I could, the list of influential games that I remembered playing as a kid, that I saw a great deal of them were not just on PC, but they were shareware games. And believe me, in the 90s, the early 90s, when all you had was a shareware game, you played it. Again, and again, and again. Of course, my family also had Intellivision, Atari, Nintendo, Sega, and I remember those almost as well as what I played on PC, but those platforms didn't give away their products in a manner that really benefited children. You had to buy entire games. In fact, by the time I remember renting games at Blockbuster Video, I mention this because renting is almost the equivalent approach for consoles, the Super Nintendo and Genesis were already out which meant it was at least 1991. Looking back, I almost see shareware as the original season pass of sorts. Unfortunately for me, shareware is from an age where I was too young to do any monetary participating. But the byproduct of that is that I would develop my passion for gaming through the free bits that were made available to me. And each shareware game was a complete story in its own right. And that was a smart decision. So I owe it to Shareware and folks like Scott Miller who, even if they didn't realize it at the time, would one day make the entire video game industry profit from kids like me who had grown up on their free games. 
So that's how I came to love games. Um, what circumstances got you into gaming? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.